Good morning everyone. In our previous lesson, we came to know what is a cardiac cycle and how heart keeps the blood circulatory system running. Basically, every heart chamber receives the blood and then it contracts, forcing the blood out of it. For example, when atria muscles are in relaxed state, it receives blood. And if the chamber shrinks because of the muscular contraction, the blood is forced into the ventricle. The same events happen in ventricle too. A ventricle receives blood when its muscles are in relaxed state and then ventricle shrinks forcing the blood into the arteries. It is pretty simple actually. The phase when the heart muscle relaxes and allows the heart chamber to fill with blood is the diastole phase. So we can say during diastole period of atrium or ventricle its muscles are relaxed that is they are not contracting and blood enters that chamber. During diastole of ventricles blood passively flows from the left atrium into the left ventricle and from the right atrium into the right ventricle. And Systole is the contraction phase of the cardiac cycle. Systole of a heart chamber causes blood to flow out of it into the blood vessels. So we can say systole of any heart chamber represents the time during which it contracts. When atrium contracts, blood enters the ventricles and when the left and right ventricles contract, blood ejects out into the iota and the pulmonary artery respectively. So, a cardiac cycle includes systole and diastole phase of atria and ventricle, normally completed in approximately 0.8 seconds. So remember, diastole is the part of cardiac cycle when the heart refills with the blood following the systole phase, that is contraction. And what is systole? Systole is the phase of heartbeat when the heart muscle contracts. During systole of atria, blood is pumped into ventricles and during systole of ventricles, blood is pumped into the arteries. The time needed for atrial contraction or systole is around 0.11 to 0.14 seconds. But the contraction of ventricles takes around 0.27 to 0.35 seconds. Now, you must be wondering what is the rhythmic sound we get from our heart? Those are caused by the closing of walls. As we know, walls are there to prevent the blood flowing back or in reverse direction. Now, the first sound of heart is caused by the closure of entrioventricular walls, that is, closure of mitral and tricuspid walls. When ventricles contract, blood obviously tries to flow back to atria, but atrioventricular walls close to prevent it, causing the first heart sound. This first heart sound is called lab, denoted as S1. The second heart sound, that is dub, is caused by the closure of aortic and pulmonary walls which prevent the reverse flow of blood from aorta and pulmonary artery back to the ventricles. When blood from aorta and pulmonary artery tries to come back to ventricles, these two walls close and this causes the sound dub. The second heart sound is denoted by S2 and as we know, it is called dub. This marks the end of the systole of ventricles. Other than lab dub, there is an easier way to count the heartbeat that doctors use. Gently place two fingers of your other hand on this artery. You can feel a rhythm. This is your pulse. The left ventricle pumps blood into the iota in regular intervals to supply blood to the whole body. So, there is a sudden spur of blood 
in the arteries in regular intervals which creates the pulse so the pulse rate is equal to the heartbeat rate that's all for now bye bye